Hello, my crafty peeps. It's Cheyenne from ecdesignstudio.com. All right. Um, I'm feeling a little under the weather today, so my voice might uh, come and go on me a little bit. And uh, yeah, there's just a whole lot of allergy stuff happening. Love the change of season. Love fall, but the change of season is usually not a good allergy time for me. All right. So on to why you're really here. Oh, it's Tips and Technique Tuesday. So today we're going to be using the Paisley and Posey. Um, not so much the stamp set, but we're going to be using the framelits. I've got a. Once we move, I'm redoing how I store everything. I'm thinking I need just a huge magnet board to just house all of my framelits and thinlets. Um, because this is what ends up happening. I'll have a piece of magnetic sheet in and I pop it open and they're everywhere. Anyway, all right, so today, you know what we're going to take? Yeah, I think this one. This is gorgeous. I wasn't going to get this set and I'm so glad that I did because I can see this getting used so much. I mean, you've got like kind of this would go very well with like the Moroccan um, suite which you can get in the um, annual catalog um, this set is only for the holiday catalog goes live September 1st if it's after September 1st go and order this now it is wonderful I mean look at look at these stamps they're gorgeous I, I've used them already but there's some sentiments, thankful, grateful, blessed. My world is brighter and more beautiful because of you. I thank you for your part in my journey. Like, and they're just, they're gorgeous. Backgrounds or main pieces, flowers, you know, there's leaves and it's just, just do it. Just go do it. I'll wait. Go ahead. All right. So back to why we're here. I'm going to show you how to make your die cuts more dimensional. And it is a super easy thing to do. All right, so we've got our, our die. You're going to need cardstock of your choice. We're going to be using Whisper White today. Um, and you could stamp the image. No, you can't stamp that one. I don't think so. No, I'm not seeing a coordinating stamp set. But there is this flower here and it does where is it here it is it has a coordinating framelit for that one or one of the paisleys i'm choosing this one because i think it's going to you know really show the technique well anyway i'm a little rambly today all right so we've got a big shot out I'm going to use a magnetic platform if you're going to be doing a lot of cutting with thinlets and framelits invest in the magnetic platform it makes life so much easier and you go through far less washi tape all right so let's get our cutting plate and then whatever color cardstock you want I tend to do a lot of cutting out in whisper white because then I can go and I can color it whatever color I want later um, or you can cut it out in whichever one. This is this is your creating, your crafting. Go with what you like. All right, so we're just going to cut out three to four of these images. All right, now we're going to get. This is a good time to also show you the die brush. So a lot of these intricate dies, you can see it's kind of gotten stuck in there. So when you order the die brush, it comes with this little foam pad. You just pop it on to the pad, you rub it over, and it pops it out without having to like poke through everything. There's also a tip with uh, dryer sheets. I don't use dryer sheets, um, so I can't show you that technique. Maybe I'll go and get some just to show you, but it's it's kind of magic. If you're really curious about it right now, go ahead and YouTube the you know 
framelits, thinlets, big shot, and dryer sheet. I'm not sure how exactly it's going to be, you know, listed on YouTube, but there I know there are videos out there because I've I've watched at least one. But it really does kind of help to make it so that the paper doesn't stick to the inside of your your die at all. So alright. If you like doing a lot of intricate cuts, then it is worth having the the die brush. Unless you're recording it, in which case it's it's not going to cooperate. You saw how that first one popped right out. There was no issue, but of course this one we're going to have to struggle with a little bit. Alright, so we've got two of our forms. And I think I want this to really be noticeable, so I'm going to cut out four total. Um, this is an excellent technique to do if you're cutting out a sentiment. I currently do not have any sentiments in die form, so I cannot show you that, but you layer up the sentiments and uh, you just get something a lot more three-dimensional. Alright, gonna have to pop out our little pokey tool. There are holes in here, kind of like at each corner, to kind of help you poke out everything. You know what this is telling me? This is telling me that I need to go and get dryer sheets so that this doesn't happen. So that it all comes out nicely and neatly and it doesn't get stuck in there. Um, I bet using the precision base plate would help with this too. I haven't used that yet. I have it, um, but I just haven't gotten around to, to trying it out. This is kind of the first really intricate die that I've, I've bought. So, all right, so that's our fourth one. So we'll go ahead and put this aside. All right, put all of these aside too. Let's get this out one last time. Bits and pieces of it are coming out pretty well. Alright, now that we have got our four bits, all the little bits are poked out. Alright, put all of that aside. And there's our four pieces. Now, I have the fine tip glue coming, but I don't have it yet. So, we're just going to use our liquid glue. We're just going to pop that all around. Get all the little edges, all the little bits and pieces. Thinking with the fine tip glue it would actually be a lot easier. And you're just going to line it up with the next one. You definitely work on a, a silicone type mat for this too. All right, so we've got two. Now I'm going to show you another way, another kind of adhesive that you can use. So you can also use your snail adhesive on a silicone mat. Don't try to do this on paper. It's not going to work out as well. And you can just run it over like that. 
use your pokey tool or once you get this all assembled you can use your adhesive remover to get all the little pieces out I really do think though that uh, you know, after doing all of this the fine tipped uh, applicator fine tip glue that's that's gonna be the way to go especially with more intricate pieces. Right here I can even show you. So this is an adhesive remover. Just looks like a funny little eraser. Don't try to erase anything with it. It's not going to work. It erases adhesive and that is it. Now, all right. <coughs> I think I like the <coughs> Excuse me. The liquid glue better. It gives you a little bit of time to kind of work with it and like squiggle it around if you didn't get your placement quite right. So not the neatest thing I've ever done because of course I'm on camera but you can see that extra bulk that it gives it versus you know the depth of the side of the paper so it's going to pop up off your card just a little bit more than usual all right I'm gonna get a baby wipe because I got glue all over my hands Baby wipes, another necessi necessity, necessity when you're crafting, especially with inks and glues, because inevitably you're going to get ink all over your hands. You're going to get paint all over your hands. It's going to happen. And of course, glue all over your hands. All right, let's take, we've got a piece of uh, flirty flamingo. So I just I like white and flirty flamingo, so yeah, going to get out the glue again because this does not have enough on it, and I'm just going to pop this kind of onto the upper center of this piece of flirty flamingo, and this is going to end up being a fairly simple card because the only thing that I would do with this at this point is probably take my Versamark and heat emboss a sentiment Let's see which one would I probably do probably be I thank you for your part in my journey so you just stamp this with your Versamark, I'd line it up kind of right underneath it, it. Then heat emboss it with your white. Do I have white? I've got copper, gold, clear, silver. The heat and stick, that's not going to help me. Alright, so I'm going to also have to put in an order for white embossing powder. Because that, I think would you know top this off maybe do some quarter rounding pop it onto a card base and there you have just a very simple little card and here, let me show you that dimension so you see it is dimensional on there versus you know just a piece of paper. It does stick out a little bit. It gives it that extra something something. And all you had to do was cut out three more of the die cuts. Now again, imagine this with, you know, a sentiment like hello over the bottom. You know, it would be gorgeous. Gorgeous. Um, so, all right. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you saw, please remember to like and subscribe. Uh, all information will be linked 
um, in the description bar below. Head over to my website. There will be a coordinating blog post. It's all going to be there, uh, along with links on getting the products, what products I used, and getting them on my online store. So, oh, thank you again. Happy creating and crafting. Bye.